What's going on guys? Dave here, JDH Reptiles. It is a actually pretty nice winter day for us here in Michigan. The reason I'm doing this video and the reason I'm outside, I'm going to tell you right now, we are having the floor replaced in our garage. And under our garage, our basement leads through underneath our garage. So we have a room under that garage. Well, our rodents, if you know, we produce our own rodents here. We also sell rodents to some local people. Uh, they're gonna get an upgrade because currently they're in a shed in the backyard and we've showed you some of that in the past. Um, you can look at some of the old videos. I'll also run back there and show you really quick. But uh, I'm gonna peek in here what these guys are doing and I'm gonna show you just where they're at with the, uh, the remodeling of this. All right, so this is the outside. The door, I don't know what we're gonna do yet with the door. You see they're digging out here? This is because they're going to fill this with gravel and then it's gonna get a concrete slab put right here. But I'm gonna peel this door back here real quick and we're gonna take a look and see. All right, hold on a second. Hi, right, so this is what it looks like in here. It's got the metal all in because that is going to be where the foundation gets poured, the new ceiling. But this huge area here is going to be the new rat room. And the cool part about this is it's sub-level. So because of that, it really should stay right around 50, 55 in here, even in the winter. And that is just awesome because heating won't really be necessary. And in the summertime, it should be cool enough down here where we won't have to use any electricity for cooling either. So I'm not gonna stay in here long because this is not finished, but you say put a new frame structure up around the perimeter. That's a new support beam. And this actually, that goes into my house right there. So that's a walk through into the house. All right, so that's the outside of the garage. There's a hole right here still where they're gonna have to put new concrete in there because that's where they cut out to put the support. But I'm gonna walk across here and show you the garage. So, I'll open up the door here, but I'm not gonna step inside. All right, so I was gonna open the door, but they actually have a board here to stop the door from being opened. So, we are actually looking at the inside of the garage. That's the floor. They're gonna pour the concrete on that and it'll fill all the way up. So this video was supposed to come out yesterday, but they've been super busy. Uh, I caught them right now while they're off to lunch. So I have the opportunity to show you guys what's going on. Uh, I'm gonna get out to the backyard really quick. I'll show you the current rat room and show you what the upgrade is involving. All right, so here's our backyard. And move my finger out of the way here. There we go. And uh, this is the shed. So this is like a, God, I think it's a eight by 10 or a 13, 12 by eight or something like that. It's probably dirty inside because I just got done cleaning in there and I gotta sweep it out yet. But this is what they work with right now. Got two racks there, got a third rack there, and it's really just inside of a really small shed. It's done pretty well for us for the last year and a half or so, but it's time for an upgrade, and these guys deserve it. So, super happy that we're getting this done because we're going to move those three racks downstairs, and maybe we'll add a rack or two and uh, try and go a little bit further into the whole. Uh, production and offering to our customers so that's kind of the breakdown of what's been going on here lately um, a lot of production the house has slowed down other things for me because it's super loud and it's hard to do videos so I try to not I don't want to put out anything you guys don't like I mean that's all there is to it so I'm gonna go in the house here real quick all right guys so back in the house back in the snake room that's kind of what's going on lately. Um, don't have a lot to go with right now, except to let you know, we have some animals that are sold. 
waiting for better weather so we can ship those out. Um, we we had we had a, a decent weekend. We had a couple sales over the weekend, the holiday, and our discounts. I was expecting them to be a little bit better. I'll be honest with you. I thought you guys were going to take me up on those offers, but it is what it is. I understand things can be tough. Um, all I could say is whether it's me or somebody else, make sure you're investing in your future. Make sure you're investing in your collection. Don't buy just because of deals. Make sure you're buying quality stuff because it's the quality stuff that's going to make you the money down the road if you're really into making the money. Um, quantity is okay for huge breeders, people who are going to have, you know, three, four hundred babies to sell. But if you're looking at, you know, let's say 20 clutches, 25 clutches even, roughly, let's say six to seven animals, you're going to hold back 10%. If you're going to have 100, 120 babies, you need to have some heat. You need to have some good stuff there. So make sure you invest in some quality stuff. I hope you guys got some great deals over the weekend. But that's going to do it for today. I know it's kind of a crappy video. It's not really great, but I'm working with what I got at the moment. There's really nothing going on here. Uh, breeding, breeding going on. Let's see what we got in here. These two are together. Uh, no lock there. That is a Orange Dream Vanilla Yellow Belly to a paint male over here. They were locked earlier. That is a Coral Glow Lesser Possible Angie Sunset to a Black Pewter Sunset. Uh, these guys were locked a little bit ago. Not right now, it looks like. That is a Pinstripe Yellow Belly Het Red Exanthic Pastel. Uh, pastel Pinstripe Het Red Exanthic Yellow Belly Het DG to a Desert Ghost Yellow Belly. Uh, let's see, these two were locked a little bit ago. Yep, they still are. Albino Het Tri Stripe to Albino Het Tri Stripe. Some more tri Albino Tri Stripes. Acid Highway to an Enchi Gravel. No lock there currently. Uh, let's see, VPI Exanthic Clown to a Super Pastel Bamboo Blackhead. So I'll try to make some double recessives there. These two are not together. So that is a Lori Head Albino to a Pastel Black Pastel Albino. So a Black Pewter Albino. Now that's actually the mother to that animal. Let's see. This one, I think they're done at the moment. Yeah, so this is a Coral Glow Krypton to a Pastel Leopard Clown. Uh, let's see. I think we got two more at the moment. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. Super Lori to a Het Red Exanthic Yellow Belly. They have not locked this week. And last but not least, this is, oh, they're locked up sweet. So this is a Mystic Leopard Clown to a, what's supposed to be a Pastel um, Huffman. So we'll see. I gotta make sure to mark that down. That's awesome. So that's it guys, we appreciate it. Thanks again, thanks for swinging by. Quality sucks, video sucks, I know, that's not great. Uh, but I wanted to put something out. I haven't talked to you guys in a few days. And I know we've been busy. Uh, everybody's busy right now. The holidays are real busy. I'm going to get back in the full swing of it right through the holidays. Uh, right now I'm just trying. Just do it some breeding, cleaning. Uh, like I said, we got stuff going on outside. And right after the holidays, we get done with all that. I'll be back to hopefully putting videos out. If not daily, every other day for sure. So you guys take care. I'll see you on the next video. Check the links down below, Morph Market page, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Patreon. It's all there. If you see anything on Morph Market you want, look, they need homes. Give me a shout. Make me a deal. Make me an offer. What's worse I can say? No. Make me an offer. If I like it, we'll make a deal. Uh, shipping should resume second week of January. We're not going to ship through the holidays. I don't care. We're not doing it. Don't ask. It's not happening. Uh, so second week of January is when we will resume shipping depending on weather, obviously. So that's it. Appreciate it, guys. Have a good one. Take care of each other. Take care of yourself. Have a wonderful holiday season. I'll be back in a couple days. I'll make a couple videos here. Uh, but like I said, I just really just got to work around the noise and um, everything else that's going on. So you guys take care. I'll see you later.